Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Car Loop Data and Cobra Car Insurance. Hey everyone, I'm in a uh, 2024 Tesla Model 3 uh, Highland uh, and we've got the adaptive high beams on. So it selectively dims individual pixels of the high beams to reduce glare for other traffic. Um, and it's obviously quite dark at the moment. So we'll try to see if this works on our roads here in Australia. So currently the high beams are off, denoted by the grey symbol there. We'll try and capture some footage for you. Okay, so now it's blue and uh, it's definitely on. Cars coming. Oh yeah, you see that? It flicked on as soon as the cars went away. Got some cross traffic now. Yeah, I think it's dipped in the middle there. Pretty sure. Okay, so now we're on the main road and the high beams are on, but obviously selectively, um, I guess, taking out the cars ahead. Now it's off again. Yeah, so high beams are on, blue. But selectively just blacking out the speed ahead. It turns off when it sees other cars in front of you. Yeah. Going in the same direction. So once these cars go, let's see if it flicks back onto to highs. See that? Yeah. 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 I thought that advertising trailer was, yeah. a, was a proper car. It, it, it was a good example of that actually. Mm. Okay, so now I'm sitting in our Model Y. So we'll see what happens when um, Joseph, who's in the new Model 3, comes back with his uh, adaptive high beams. And we'll see what kind of lights I get. Do I get blinded by his um, high beams or not? We'll see. So it should be coming past the crest any moment. This might be him. Oh. Felt pretty good actually. Okay, so now in this test, I've got my lights off and Joseph's gonna come round uh, past the crest again, and then as we see him coming towards us, I'm going to put my headlights on to see how responsive his adaptive headlights are. So let's watch him drive up past the crest very shortly. Okay, I think I can see him now. Yeah, his headlights are definitely on, his high beams, I mean. Okay, let's put them on now. Oh, did you see that? That worked pretty well. And if I turn off, very good. That definitely worked. Okay, so now I'm driving the um, Highland Model 3 with the adaptive lights on. So we're going to do the same thing as before, the same experiment, but I'm going to be the one uh, driving up the crest now and Joseph's going to turn on the Model Y lights. Okay, reverse angle. High beams are definitely on. And you should see my car there. There it is in the distance. Let's see what happens. Yeah, nice. I think you can see yeah, the um the high beams blacking out the, the car as it comes closer. Okay, so now we're doing a pedestrian test where I'm walking and then we'll see what happens when the Model 3 uh, drives up to a pedestrian, i.e. myself, whether it blacks out the pedestrian. 
Okay, so that's the car with the high beams on. Very bright. I'm just walking. Coming closer to me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, not that much of a difference to be honest. Kind of see the lights adjusting itself all the time, right? It's actually quite discreet. It's quite good to watch. So it's like picking up other things on its path selectively blacking out stuff. So see it's blocking out the model Y in front there. So now you see as a comparison in uh, 2023 Tesla Model Y it still says uh, auto high beam uh, as most of the adaptive headlights we saw with the Highland Model 3 even though these uh, lights are actually the matrix as well so uh, I'm sure it'll come as a software update very soon for uh, all the pre Highland vehicles both Model 3 and Model Y it must be just a regulation thing for now okay so just to remind you this is what the headlights or high beams look like in the current 2023 Model Y that don't have the adaptive high beams you might have seen the lights dip very quickly Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you got to see some examples of the adaptive high beams in action. And many thanks to Joseph for uh, filming with me tonight in his beautiful new red uh, Tesla Model 3 2024 Highland Edition. Um, hopefully our Model Y will get the adaptive high beams update soon. Uh, I'll let you know when that happens and we'll do some more testing then. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Until the next ludicrous speed video, happy charging. High beams are definitely on. See my car there. There it is in the distance. Let's see what happens. Yeah, nice.